Must have gotten a quick read in the rules at the end there. Yeah, I'd be impressed. I mean, they are pretty long. I tried to make them short, but if you leave too much out, then you know that there's people that come in and they're like, oh, I didn't know that I couldn't shit post like random <laughs> copyrighted music over the stream. Whoops. Yeah. <clears throat> mistake, make that mistake off and I get it. Steph's going to go ahead and take a casual little break here in the intro. Um, really not <laughs> respecting his opponent. I totally understand it. I mean, if I was going against Timmy, I'd be pretty confident too. Is he getting another monster? I mean, the monster's not even in the stream anymore. Perhaps. And the prediction has evened out. It used to be very much towards Timmy, and now Sif in a slight lead in the prediction. Got some fifth, Sif chance fans in chat. Yeah, it's kind of eyeing up the uh, the joystick module look there. Look like we were playing on a modded OEM. Mm. Very, very quality controller analog stick thing. Yeah, definitely at least a... Uh, Steel stick cap. Yeah, I think I saw some plastic in there, but definitely good enough. Oof. Timmy First not playing good enough Timmy. right now. Yeah, getting that ledge grab. And something I was talking about in the pregame is Timmy has not been playing a lot of Mario 64. Um, obviously a solid gamer, solid racer, but I've only seen him streaming the last like week or so, and it's been mostly 70 up RTAs, so... Perhaps not going in with the most preparation, and Sif definitely has been playing pretty hot. Gotten several PBs recently. I think literally PB'd like last night, got that 16-18. PB'd in the last race he was in, so... I don't know, I'd be a little bit scared if I was Timmy. Yeah, he has to be a nice little hot streak there. Uh, but luckily both racers getting LBLJ first try though. Definitely a confidence booster. And Sif completing a nice little Shigiru cycle. Yeah, starting off with the lead here. I definitely think Sif has the ability to get a 15 uh, in the near future, so I'm, I'm kind of scared for Timmy. I know I've already said that, but like, starting off with the lead already on Sif's side. Dude's yeah, been it's playing a very pretty strong consistent. start. I mean, we saw Lost Race. Things can go very wrong in the first couple minutes oh, of a race. No. <laughs> That was oh terrifying. I don't, I don't know how Timmy kept his composure to do that. I'd have been probably pooping my pants a little bit, but... Yeah, with oh, the changed camera, I didn't know if he was going to start falling off the edge. I was definitely holding my breath there. Ugh. Yeah, do you know what uh, Sith's sum of best is? Not that it matters that much. I'm curious. Uh, he said he definitely 15 potential. Uh, 1536 is the sum of best. Yeah, it could definitely happen. Probably a lot of good I mean, will get for him. I mean, yeah, Sif's sum of best is literally only 7 seconds worse than Timmy's, so... Uh, this is definitely not a comfortable situation for Timmy. Like, Timmy's gotta be like, I don't know, 10 seconds in the lead to really feel like he's in control here. Because the PB, the PB difference is, you know, kinda sizable, like 25 seconds or so, 20 seconds, but... Really not that big of a skill gap. Yeah, especially in a race, 20 seconds doesn't mean too much unless you're maybe at the like very, very high levels. Getting closer to a 14. Alright, so it looks like Alice first for Timmy, a little bit of shaky movement heading up to it, but hopefully we'll get it first try and it won't matter. Also yeah, we're not on a little walk there, but at least he got it. Sif also going for that side flip. Get up to the rotating platform. A little bit janky, but at the end of the day we both got Alice first try. Sif, of course, sitting at three stars. Decent chunk of lead there for him. Yeah, like to skip in a little more after uh, Timmy got bopped by the Goomba at the end of Dark World there. Oh my Timmy gosh. Timmy is going to go for it. Oh, this is Salt Class though. I think it's a fair <laughs> fair choice, but Sif here going to be grabbing a very clean Womps. First try on everything. Timmy Bowie having to back things up on the second attempt. I hope we don't go for Salt again. I would think that was a mistake if he does. In runs, I can go, you know, with the double Salt. But, I don't know, I feel like going for texture here is definitely the play. 
Yeah, with a run you can just reset. I don't know if you can really risk it. But it would be inter interesting to see. But Sif did have a pretty nice exit. 437. Womps is definitely 15-able if you have a good mid and late game. Here we go. At least Timmy's getting it second try. Listening to our advice. Obviously paying attention to us. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think that's definitely the call. I mean... I'm pretty sure we're the experts here. I don't think Timmy really has any idea what he's doing. Maybe he played a couple of times, but... Backseat required. Is Sifo going to be missing that bomb the first time around? Unable to grab it. Back up to top of the pyramid. A much safer backup than the Talon Star. I can definitely agree with that one. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was trying to buffer kick up that or just messed up a few jumps to maybe go for the Talon. But got a backup anyway, so he can't complain. Still a pretty good lead over Timmy. Both on pillowless. Sif's at least in. Yeah, both pretty decent pillowlesses there. Sif just with a fly guy to go. Talon, yeah. I should say, actually. Always good to see players getting past that pillarless without having a complete and utter meltdown. Once you start seeing people, you know, dying, uh, so just having to reset the level completely, they don't really feel confident, or, you know, just completely whiffing it like 10 times in a row, that can be really heartbreaking, but both players keeping it together here throughout the run so far. I mean, Timmy had some issues with the LBLJ, but... Other than that, both players playing pretty consistent so far. Yeah, I mean, maybe not exactly the run Timmy wanted to start with, but both runners can't be too upset with it. Uh, yeah, just the Miss Lycaju skip and... What, a, the Miss Salt class? For Timmy? Yeah, for some reason I was thinking that he messed up on LBLJ, but I think you're right. It was the LBLJ split, so... Yeah, it's same thing, right. same thing. Commentators are never wrong. Oh, can't get pillarless on the way to LOL, though. That's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> Hit the hard pillarless. I remember one time I was, like, just starting to stream this game, like, regularly again, and Wilco came to my chat and watched me do that and called and asked me when's pillarless. And I'd never, like, <laughs> I'd never actually had a conversation, I don't think, with Wilco before, maybe outside of his chat, but <laughs> I, was, I was, like, so devastated. It's, like, up there with... Like that moment and my first ever race that was like streamed commentated by Simply, he told me that my uh, THI secrets was the first movement anyone ever learns in the game and I was just completely devastated. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I get wow, over it. what a comment. <laughs> That's yeah, I was, brutal. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of tough love. I mean, sometimes the bigger community members, you know, they got to be out there giving a little bit of tough love, but... uh Sifo having some trouble with the side hop, unfortunately. Yeah, Timmy making up some good ground there. Because Sif, Sif also danced around the top of the star. Uh, or at the star for the bully as well. Getting a few more seconds back to Timmy. Timmy playing it safe here, going for the elevator. Completely understandable. Yeah, we used to a surprising amount of lava boost attempts. In this tournament, I'm like actually shocked how many times we've seen lava boost because it saves barely anything if you go for like pro booster Akira, and it, it's just so much more hard. I, I don't understand going for it in a race personally. Yeah, last race both Zion and uh, Drunken Dwarf went for it, and I was shocked with it. Wait, and they really? Both got it this second race too. Yeah. Oh man, that must have been when I was AFK getting tacos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, tacos are important. Yeah, eating is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'd like to just Big be a like, completely inanimate Mario machine and just watch, play, and commentate Mario the, for the rest of my life, but eating <laughs> is unfortunately required. And it's definitely hard to eat and play Mario at the same time with your hands getting greasy. I remember way back in the day, and this is so unrelated as uh, Sip is going <laughs> for the box jump here, or triple jump box here. But I remember Ziglemic saying the best snack to eat while you're playing games is pretzels because your hands don't get greasy. And since then, when I play games, I've eaten pretzels. That's actually a good, that's a good idea. Wow. 
Timmy giving his best Benny impression in the chat. Pretty <laughs> impressive when you're able to get get the Benny impression like conveyed over text. It's the Fulkin that does it. <laughs> Probably another another couple ways. I mean, if you bring a pot noodle or just talk about brew sticks like 24/7, <laughs> I'm pretty sure either one of those would be adequate to get that across. Any cups in chat for Timmy? I think it's called a brew. Oh, sorry, my bad. How's the Adam exposing himself? Not a true Benny fan. Okay, to be fair, back in the day, he used to say, can everybody cup for me when he was doing a hard strat and everybody would post the brew in chat. I, the I, 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 I don't remember that. That was like 2013, 2014, I believe. What? <laughs> yeah, I swear, he used to say, can everybody cup for me and people would post the brews in chat. I don't think this game was even out back then, but maybe. <laughs> Sif, not quite 15 pace anymore. With a 10.58 exit? I didn't pay exactly attention to uh, when the fade out was. But missing the MIP, so Timmy gonna be making some more ground here. Yeah, but hasn't been able to catch up yet. Sif taking a commanding lead early on and just kind of rolling with it here. But we are heading into the more difficult portions of the game. Sif, I know, is only going to go for front sub. Does not ever go for rear sub. So that could potentially be a point of weakness. Not sure if Timmy's going to go for it or not. It always scares me when somebody jumps at the door and misses it. Because I know, at least when I was first learning that kind of clip, jump at the door and miss the glitchy wall kick. Just mips right through the door sometimes. But luckily gets it. Timmy with the first star glitchy wall kick though, and slowly trying to crawl back onto Sif here. And does do we, does Sif go for ultimate? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen him go for it in a race at least. But a nice front sub from Sif. Maybe making it look easy. And it's Timmy going for that back sub. So making up a little bit of time in addition to that already lead that Sif had. Oh, and diving past the star. Timmy. Falling apart right a little there. bit here. Let's see what they do. He's going for at least the lineup. I feel like he did that last race I watched of his, too. Like, he does everything for the movement, for pole glitch, and then backs out of it. I mean, it wasn't looking like we were going to make pole glitch anyways. Like, the angle is really wonky. We could have, like, tried for it, but I, I would be shocked if that worked. Yeah, um, I would. it's just interesting that he goes for that, like, just route in general to me. Yeah, I'm sure if he was feeling like it was going to work, he would have tried for it, but... Timmy, not going to be able to catch up here, unfortunately. That is an interesting bonk. Ooh. Sif burned just to the right turn to be able to go over to the heart. I gotta say, I'm a little bit scared for Timmy right now, and I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed if Timmy gets knocked out here. This is a do or die race. This is, you have one shot, one opportunity. If you lose this best of three, you are knocked out of the tournament. If you win it, you are moving on to the main bracket. And Timmy has been talking about wanting to join 16 star races for a long time. like. Timmy's the kind of guy that'll go on Twitter and complain there's no tournaments going on, so I'd be kind of kind of sad if Timmy got knocked out here. A little too much upstairs RTA practice. But it's good, you know, a lot of these races, they do come down to the, uh, these BLJs that we're about to see. Oh yeah, this is definitely well within the margin of error here. 15, 20 seconds, and that is all that separates these two runners, and that can be like two volleys of BLJs, and that's a catch up, or you know, a miss on triple jump wall kick. That's Timmy catching up. Anything can happen here. And yeah, I know. Well, I, if you're going into BLJs here, I'm always scared. I know. I, I just feel like I'm not. I mean, I don't have to wait. I'm like a 16 something, but I do have a 16 something, but I'm always scared that I'm gonna get a first try as Sif gets it. 
very quickly. Wait, you're scared you're gonna get it first try? What? No, I'm scared I'm not going to. Oh, okay. It's just, like, it's just <laughs> a. <laughs> I'm terrified of it. I guess succeed. everybody's scared. They're, uh, what an awful comment for me, by the way. I'm going to mention, oh no, what if I don't get them? I'm pretty sure every runner has that thought. So I'm going to retract that <laughs> statement as Sif goes into bits. <laughs> I mean, BLJs are scary. You're not wrong. Sif, so you're controlling the lead so far throughout the race, has not let off the gas. Timmy wants to catch up, but I mean, we are in the scary part of the run. We are in Sky. Sif looks like he's going for moving left and will nab it. Very clean, very comfortable moving left from Sif. Can Timmy deliver his own? I don't know, they're pretty yeah. big shoes to fill. These throws are scary, though. Yeah, it's been on Sif to lose since pretty much fire C and he's not held he has not relinqu relinquished the lead at all and he it will have to miss a throw in order for Timmy to have a chance for game one yeah probably have to miss a couple throws here as the first two are good that yep. one is right on the line but does connect one more throw for the game it looks like he'll do it. Yeah, a bit of an upset game one here. Sif taking a solid lead early on and just holding on to it to the very end. It didn't really grow or shrink too much at all over the course of the run, but... Yeah, I mean, it's not... Timmy, you're a little worried, but you're also thinking to yourself, all I have to do is not miss lack of do skip, right? Just small things like that. Just, just hit the trick's forehead. Yeah, I mean, all you have to do is get a 16 again. <laughs> and hope Sif doesn't beat you. I mean, yeah. Sif could very easily just pop off and PB again. Like, I'm I'm literally 100% in the court of Sif could PB on any of these runs. Like, this dude's just playing too crazy. He's a consistent player. Plays in a lot of tournaments, at least from what I've seen. It's fun to watch. I, I'd be terrified if I was going up against Sif, honestly. And shoutouts to all the gamers coming in from the D Whomstever raid. I am very sorry we do not have the shy dog emote in this chat room, but I will remedy the situation at some point. Yes, welcome into the 16 star open. This is the final round of qualifiers. Everybody winning today and for the rest of the weekend, we'll be moving on to the main bracket to go against players like Suiji, Kano, GTM. All the big name gamers already waiting for them in the main bracket. We'll be playing for $2,000 in prizes. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely drop us a follow. Follow us uh, on the who social media. put out medias. the money for that $2,000? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I uh, just kind of appeared. Um, I think it has something to do with this, uh, this charity called Urban Arts. Uh, they do a lot of work for the community. Supporting tournaments and gaming around Twitch. Very cool people. They also have a program called the School of Interactive Arts, which teaches underprivileged students across America the arts and technologies behind game design, gets them into college, sets them up with scholarships and success, so... That sounds interesting to you. Definitely go check them out. And I overstate how much I appreciate them working with us. Menace. It's huge. Definitely good for a good cause there. <laughs> Menace on, on top of the Urban Arts Command every <laughs> single time. So impressive. I mean, needing a bathroom break as we see him leave the screen from us. Curious if Sif's gonna grab another monster here or just ride the high of that first win in his first monster. No more credits music. More credits music.
Pretty good timing there. Switched off pretty much exactly where Sif's left off. Coordinated. Just as bland. Me still typing in chat. Maybe he didn't actually need to go to the bathroom. Just trying to ice sif, sif out here. Uh, you gotta. I, I don't know. I don't know if you're able to use the restroom without sitting on Twitch on your phone. That's definitely the strat. <laughs> the way to do it. I just can't multitask like that. Just end up sitting on the toilet for an hour. I mean, what's no problem with that? that Timmy is getting a pep talk in the bathroom. It's usually where the best pep talks happen, happen so I'm expecting a win from Timmy here game two. Where are you getting word of that? Oh, I see. <laughs> I mean, with the extended break, might have to go inspect his bathroom after this to make sure there's no sort of, like, practice set up in the bathroom that is, of course, forbidden. Just didn't we'll quite get enough warm-up. have to start cameras in gamers' bathrooms to make sure there's no longer Oh my happens. goodness, Sif. No. Okay, this is terrible. It's a, it's a double case. Both players going to the bathroom to practice. I mean, I get it. I, I think Sif realized, too, he's like, okay, my opponent's practicing in the bathroom. I gotta get my own work in the bathroom. Exactly. A little bit of unsportsmanlike conduct. I mean, if both players are cheating, we're all good. Yeah, Evens that's, out. that's fair, I guess. You're doing a practice race. So if a little quicker to the bathroom, I like how he is a little quicker in the first race as well. I don't know. I really hope that you can go to the bathroom that fast. There's definitely a hand wash <laughs> skip if that's the case. Maybe he also did touchless. That's even worse. I'm not even going to go into the, <laughs> the reasoning why that's worse. There's a discussion about that on Twitter. I know GTM posted something and then Cheese was posting about it. I'll have to do a deep dive into why touchless is bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if the sponsor <laughs> would appreciate that conversation topic. Not on but... stream. I'll do it <laughs> off stream. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Prize pool in Jeopardy. <laughs> oh man dude this storm is crazy I, I'm kind of scared that my internet's going to go out tomorrow my power's going to go out I'm looking on twitter right now I'm seeing squirrel cam getting devastated by the storm no absolutely destroying the whole facility that's tragic Shout out to Squirrel Cam, by the way. If you don't already follow Squirrel Cam, um, if UAP wasn't sponsoring the entire prize pool, <laughs> you'd definitely be just shouting out Squirrel Cam the entire time. They do deserve it. Also, what's that other channel? There's another channel that I found recently via Electric, which is, I think it's called Fish Plays Street Fighter. 
what? And it's literally like a webcam pointed at a fish tank, and then they have Street Fighter up, and it's like Twitch plays, but there's like a like webcam mapping where it tracks different colors of fish. And then depending on where they are in the fish tank, it like assigns a button combo to that area. So if they swim into like the top right, it'll do like a half circle and an A press. And so it just That's like insane. it just pits two fish against each other. And there's like a leaderboard and you can like gamble. They run like tournaments. It's like insanely in depth. I need to see that. Yeah, I showed it to Thera the other day and apparently he's just been constantly watching it like in his free time. <laughs> Which is not not great. I've been trying to get him back into speedrunning and commentating, but instead he's just been playing Tarkov and watching Fish Play Street Fighter. I mean, did not get enough practice in the buff. I mean, there we go. Put a little more practice in here. <laughs> Maybe gonna work on the salt plus he missed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, you got salt once. Now we're ready to go. He's good to go. <laughs> Alright, so match number two, Sif versus Timmy. What are you thinking, Adam? How do you, how do you feel this one's going to go? I mean, I want Timmy to win. Uh, game threes are so much fun to watch, especially in winner-takes-all scenario here, but like not a prize pull-all, but like actually moves on to the next round, to the group stage. So, I mean, I just want to see a game three. They're more fun. But what are you thinking here? I mean, Sif did have a very strong performance game one. A 1642 I, in a race is not, not bad at all. I mean, I have an emotional and friendship bias towards Timmy, but I really think Sif's going to win this game too. I I don't know. I think Sif's just playing too consistent, too practiced. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Timmy can really face up to the challenge here, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm, it should be an exciting game too. I mean, maybe one race is all Timmy needed, though. He hasn't played too much lately. Maybe one race gets him back into the groove. I mean, he did play poorly overall. No, definitely like, not. Definitely a decent not. decent run. One thing I can say as well is I've seen Timmy play in tournaments before and have a rough game one and then come back and just kind of dominate. So yeah, it's, it's hard to say. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah, we'll see. Will Timmy hit his first try? Why well, could he skip this time? <laughs> Timmy's pissed, dude. Timmy's pissed. Timmy just unfollowed me on Twitch, Twitter, and uh, Tinder. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what other social media platforms there are. And a reverse of Lost Race already. Timmy hitting like a do skip and Sif missing it. Timmy just full of rage right now. Just wants to prove me wrong. I love it. See now, now if Timmy wins, I can take I can take the credit. I'll, I'll be kidding me. Trying to prove the haters wrong. <laughs> So it's a little sketchy at the beginning there, maybe wanting to talk to Toad a little bit, but he's in as well. Now Toad doesn't get as much love as he should. Ooh, I get so scared when people go for that burning red coin movement. Do you not go for it if you get burned, or...? No, I just, just get skip over it. it. Anyway. Oh, okay, interesting. I mean, you can get Shig even if you don't go for the burning red coin movement. I don't trust myself. But, I mean, Sif's definitely not getting Shig here. A lot of just unfortunate mistakes early. But not losing that much time. What, this is going to be a late cycle now? Yeah, it's still fun. Yeah. Oh, Timmy! Oh my gosh, just getting up there. But he's good. Goomba's nice to everybody this race. Timmy pretty much with the lead that Sif had Lost Race going into uh, Bowser. And Bowser also trying to help Timmy out here by dancing. Good guy, Bowser. Alright, so last match we had Sif heading out of Dark World in the lead and commanding that lead for the rest of the race. And this time it's Timmy. Loot out of Dark World. Will we see that continue with the uh, 
lead does not change for the rest of the race, or are we going to see a little bit of back and forth? Yeah, I mean, big part of it's going to be right here when Timmy's about to go for his Sol Clus. We saw him miss a game one. Apparently, he just needed to fix the camera. Did that in between races and see if it actually does fix his Sol Cluster. Yeah, I think salt is definitely a risk, no matter how good you are at it, no matter how much you've practiced it, how consistent you feel at it right now. And we see it, one more salt plus miss on the docket for our boy Timmy Bowie. I think we'll see texture again, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see Timmy... I mean, the, the rage gaming was working earlier. Maybe we'll bring it out again. Just go for it. Just, you know, power up. Maybe he wants to prove that he can hit salt in a race. I think it's a bad idea, but maybe. I think it is, too. Maybe he'll listen to us both again. <laughs> Don't do it, Timmy. Don't give in. He's good, yeah. He's going for texture. Ah, uh, that's too far to the left. That's going to let you grab. Oh, no. Here we go. Trying again. It's always awkward from this angle when you have to retry it from the ledge grab. No. Ugh. No. Plus, come on, you can do it, Timmy. There we go. Third time the charm there, but Sif in a full Owlus lead right now, and, a, and some. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, sometimes you just get that bad star rotation on Canonless, and you just can't really recover. And <laughs> Timmy Wombat's feeling Fortress the full heat right now. Like that. Yeah. Oh. Pillar full for Sif there. <laughs> yeah, Racer's having a lot of trouble avoiding the pillars. Whether it be with a bomb or otherwise. Gets the Harry Potter skip though. Excellent stuff from Sif there. And we get the medium bomb. Oh, the triple jump triple medium jump. bomb. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no, couldn't get the jump. We're not dead though. Can back it up eventually. But that's a lot of ground for uh, Timmy to make up here. And oh. Sif's still struggling. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I thought he was about to fake ledge grab. Eventually packs it up at the top of the pyramid. Oh, poor Timmy there. Not guy quite getting the jump dive back over. Of covering our eyes there doesn't want to expose us to the gameplay. <laughs> Since he put his monster back in front, let's see how it does round two. It's the big bomb this time at least. A little bit hung up on the box. We are over the edge and we are into the pyramid here. Nice pillarless on round two, but Timmy right behind. Also hung up on the box. Okay. Going for a little bit of a uh... Half oh, that plus end. there, and yeah. Yeah, that was... He was right on Sif's tail again, but that's gonna hurt just a little. Definitely rough. Ugh. Things just getting slowly worse for Timmy right now. Not gonna see Timmy have another chance to come back until probably MIPS slash PLJs and Firesy, all of that nonsense. Sif gonna keep this lead, but imagine going forward for a while. But you know, things can still happen. Definitely looking very good for Sif right now, though. Yeah, Sif's just kind of playing consistent, and all he's really needed so far. Playing fast, too. I mean, it's not like he's playing like consistent and going for like. Strats that are going to nap him like a mid-17. Like, this dude's playing consistent getting strats that are going to get him a mid to low 16. As Timmy taking the fall of shame there at the end of SSL. Gotta be salt a... in the wound there. Yeah, definitely. Just destroying any potential confidence going out of that stage, but... Timmy's got to snap back. Timmy's got to get things under control because... 
you know, we can't really just bank on a huge error from Sif. I don't know if that's really the game plan. Yeah, like you're saying, Sif has been playing just very consistent 16s. I, I've, I've been expecting out of Sif right now with how he's playing. Even still, Sif getting the first try side hop to me after retrying after missing the triple jump. trouble on the elevator tour star here for Sif, but not a huge deal. Gonna go all the way to the top there, feeling a little bit off cycle, off kilter, and I think that's a fair thing to do. Can be a very scary start to finish off. Yeah, just play it safe there. I, I'm unsure, I mean, I would imagine Timmy's watching as he's talking in chat. I'm unsure if Sif is watching as well, knowing the lead he does have. Oh, destroying the box. No chance at that anymore. What do you call it? I hear like meant. I hear that's like strat called so many different things. Triple box jump, triple jump box, box triple jump. What, box, what's your go-to there? Jump. It's box triple jump. I hear so many people say like they put the box in the middle. So triple box jump. But I, I don't see three boxes there. I, I, I definitely disagree with that. <laughs> I mean, it's a triple on a box. You do a jump. I think, it's, I think it's fair. Okay. Uh, welcome into all the Adam Ferrari Raiders, by the way. Appreciate the support from Ultimate Gamer Adam Ferrari, Cool Cat Gang Extraordinaire. Thank you so much. This is, of course, the Cool Cat Gang 16 star open, sporting a $2,000 prize pool from Urban Arts. If we're not already aware. Very epic gaming ahead. As Sif having to back up to Elevator Clip here. An interesting choice, but I think it's a smart one. I mean, especially if he knows he's in the lead. Just going for the safe, consistent backup. Not trying to force anything. Um, I think I think it's smart. Yeah, but definitely showing some issues here. Uh, he was playing pr fairly, like, pretty well before that, and then just two mess up, mess ups there. Still has a pretty solid lead, though. Gonna need a little more of that from Sif for uh, Timmy to get back into this. Yeah, one star lead. It's not the biggest in the world, especially considering we're coming up on the harder parts of the game. Obviously, LBLJ route has a lot of difficulty in the early game. You have LBLJ itself. Uh, you have hard stars like Pillarless, and even like the Bully Star to an extent is quite a bit harder than most of the stars you're going to be doing in no LBLJ. But once you get up to DDD, especially if you're doing front sub, I feel like that's when the, the run really kind of kicks into high gear. Even MIPS to an extent. Yeah, I mean... You see a bunch of different MIPS strats, and I mean, you can just miss miss the first MIPS grab as well. Even though that is really considered more easy unless you're doing the punch grab. But I, both these runners are going for the glitchy wall kick with MIPS too. Speaking of Sif getting it. Gonna see another front sub attempt from him. Was it him that said uh, he doesn't even do back sub anymore? As soon as he moved 1064, he set, decided to do big boy strats and only did front sub? That is correct, Or is that yes. somebody else I'm thinking about? Get a Sif. A lot of bad myths from either runner there. Okay, you know, very nice delay there. Oh no, Sif. Okay, we're going for front sub still. And this could be a little bit of a disaster. The setup is gone. And I have to go for... Oh, we're going for right side again. Okay. It looks like a decent lineup. 
not bonking the fence. So nice backup from Sif, but definitely a little bit of time of loss. There. Going for front sub again. Ooh. Jimmy's struggling a little with the back sub. Can't really capitalize on Sif's front sub mishap. Ooh, pole glitch this time from Sif. Not having to bail out on it. I mean, able to get the movement. Oh, and the ground pound into the burn. That's going to probably kill this early cycle unless we are actually a god gamer here in the ending. Getting a bully as well. That is definitely the nail in the coffin here. Unfortunate. A little bit of time Timmy can make up back. Oh, as he misses the entrance to Fire Oh, on my side. Uh, but yeah. Timmy can still make up some ground here. Yeah, definitely unfortunate. I mean... Once you get that pole glitch in your brain, you're like, oh man, yeah, I got early cycle. But then, you know, if you take some serious blunders like that, it can completely knock you out of that cycle. Is Timmy looking to be on cycle here? You should make it with no wall kick. Yeah, good stuff. Timmy opting for the front lag reduce of Mario Cam. That was terrifying. Okay. <laughs> Timmy fully in control, not scary at all. Never had a doubt. Yeah, and Sif with a pretty commanding lead still. I mean, we do have BLJ's incoming, but he, they both runners had a pretty good BLJ's last race. And we'll see if Sif can match it from. I think it's fair to say that uh, anything can happen in BLJ's, I think is what the chat told us before. <laughs> Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. I think I've heard that a few times. I know it sounds like a weird saying, but maybe, maybe I've heard it. Ooh, very Sip. nice. <laughs> All right. Bonk for bonk there, though, with Timmy and Sif. <laughs> Sif's BLJs are Nuts. very, very good. This dude's Both just caught cracked. the second long jump. <laughs> okay, Timmy, oh, though. Okay. Oh, okay. Just looking out for Timmy there. Wanted it's... Maybe Sif's a Timmy fan himself. Yeah, we are definitely in striking distance. Timmy... On the ropes here, this is definitely a huge match for Timmy. If he loses this one, we'll be knocked out of the tournament. But, oh, needs to get these BLJs. That needs to catch. Finally catches. Scared me a little bit heading towards that left wall, but he's good. And yes, jump. it's Sif's against the loose. Needs to either miss left side or miss some throws. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's one miss. Second miss is not going to happen though. Very nice clean backup from Sif. Damage control on point. Getting the side flip even on the elevators. Managing to keep things cobbled together here. Heading into the pipe and throws are all that separates him and the main bracket here as Timmy is on the ropes. Oh, and Timmy falling down off to left side, too. That might be the nail in the coffin there for Timmy. That's one throw for Sif. Two in the bag. Just one more throw, and Sif will be moving on to the main bracket, and that is it, folks. Sif going to be upsetting Timmy Bowie here with a 2-0. To clean things up, that is absolutely remarkable. Yeah, quick 2-0 there from Sif. I mean, Timmy definitely had his chances. It's only, only, quote-unquote, a 17-30 here for Sif. But, you know, he performed. Definitely came out to play. And Sif, honestly, out of these qualifiers, there's been a couple of people that have really, like, shown up and shown their stuff. And Sif is definitely one of those. Timmy going to be finishing up the throws here. One more throw. Gonna be connecting and unfortunate for Timmy, unable to take a match here. Yeah, both run is 12 for 12 on throws. 
combined. Pretty solid from both of them. Just sadly, some mistakes from Timmy. Just un not being able to catch up with Diff just playing a little more consistently. Timmy having a bit of an existential crisis here <laughs> on the edge. I'm going to have to back him down. Oh no, Timmy, don't oh, do it. No. no. Timmy, come back. Timmy, come back. <laughs> you can blame it all on Sif. I heard the call, we were biased. I honestly put 5k on Sif, so I'm a little disappointed. Or 5k on Timmy, so I'm a little disappointed Sif won. But I'll get over it. I'm 100% biased. I'm the most biased commentator that will ever be in any booth. <laughs> I will straight up tell you, like, if you ask me who I am biased toward, but, uh, I will definitely accept that accusation. <laughs> I mean, you said you wanted Timmy to win, but you thought Sif would win. You said what you wanted and what you thought were going to happen. Sadly, yep. you were right for Timmy. I'm, I'm definitely sad to see Timmy go. I mean, I'm not lying when I say that. Like, I was definitely hoping to see Timmy make it into the main bracket, but it just wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. And I don't know. It seems it seems to me like Timmy is trying to focus on 70 star right now, so I don't think Timmy's going to be too upset about it either. But we're going to get one more match here, a little bit of a, a grudge, grudge match to end things off. Of course, always giving players the option to do that game number three. Not really a time filler at this point. It's just a... Uh, just do a, you know, show off, show off the gameplay. Yeah, just nice to have runners giving another chance to race. I mean, good for runners and good for everybody, really. Just fun to watch another race and runners, you know, they like the experience of races sometimes. Especially, it's going to help Sif in the long run, as he is going to be entering that main bracket. Just getting more race experience can't hurt for the main bracket at all. Racers are counted in here. We are getting ready to be on our way. Of course, for anyone confused in the chat, this race does not count for anything except for the racer's honor, which is kind of everything, honestly. This race kind of counts for everything. Maybe the most important race, then. It's me, Mario. What are your thoughts on this race? You thought uh, Sif was going to win the last one. You think Sif's going to get the clean 3-0 here? I think that Timmy's gonna ball out and just go crazy on everything and just get like Fly Guy Liss and Tama Plus and PB. Easy clap. Old prediction. I can't wait until it comes true. I mean, I, I, I guess we were gonna get a double PB on the first race of the day on the grudge match and we <laughs> almost got a double PB. So, I mean, I think, I don't know. I think I, think I might be right this time. I'm due. Learn five, I guess. I mean, I could see Sif PB. Like, like you were saying, this he's been balling out lately, PBing like no other. And why not PB in a race? First trace that both runners hit, like do skip. Do love to see it. Oh, Timmy forgot how to long jump. This is tragic. I'm gonna jump and party. Oh, no. <laughs> it reminds me of the first time I, I broke the 16 barrier. I got my first, it was like a 1657 or something. And I literally jumped inside the column like straight up 10 times. I have no idea how I got a 16 <laughs> off of that run in particular, but. Good luck jumps. And now yeah. he's doing almost the same thing with the switch. Can't quite press. Oh, no, um, Timmy. Maybe not the start Timmy was looking for there, but it's just going to make for a legendary comeback for Timmy. I'm going to blame this all on the chat. This is 100% the chat's fault. I haven't seen an, a single cheer for Timmy in the chat room. I've only seen sarcastic remarks against Timmy, and 
I think that's that's what's happening here. He has a broken Timmy spirit. Morale at an all-time low because of chat. I can't believe you guys. And we've been nothing but supportive. Yeah, I've, I've never said that I thought Timmy was going to lose. Not not even once. Yeah, I think if anything, we've been saying Timmy's probably going to win all games and Sif has no chance. So that's and, on chat there. Incredibly practiced. Has been uh, training in the mountains <laughs> in a secret dojo off stream. I hope it's Sif missing a Bowser throw here. Apparently feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, the Timmy fans apparently all packed up and went home. I'm not really sure what happened. Yeah, it's... I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. They were here in support and now... Well, not not in support. I'm rooting for Sif, obviously. And Timmy... Oh, sadly gonna miss that throw. Joining Sif, missing slightly to the left. Almost toe off the edge, re-grabbing his tail. <laughs> and you know, now is the game for, Sif, or for Timmy to hit his... Saw class. Struggled with it games one and two. And I, I, I think he's going to hit it here. I believe. I mean, Timmy's not made a mistake yet, so I, I would be very shocked if he started to make them now. This is Timmy's game. Sif is just a bystander, and Sif is Woo! the first one to hit Saw class. Oof. That's crazy. Okay, Sif so going for the triple long jump into fence clip strategy. I've not quite seen that one yet, but that one is something I'm going to have to maybe research. <laughs> oh, and Timmy grabbing the ledge. Timmy, no! No, Timmy. No, no. Timmy has just been having such a hard time on Candlemas. I just, it hurts to watch. Yeah, and that's <laughs> has been the majority of the difference between both races as well. Missed the Candlemas game one, lost by a little more than the Candlemas. That was the Candlemas plus the uh, Lakitu skip. But game two, missed Lakitu. I uh, missed Candlemas like twice, and almost the difference until he fell down in uh, bits on left side. And Sif saying he's going to die to fly guyless. I like the confidence. I mean, I hope he knows fly guyless if he's going to go for it, because that is not exactly a strategy you can just kind of wing. But I'm, I'm going to guess that there's uh, some practice been put into it. Oh, that is not it. No, yeah. <laughs> time to bail. <laughs> time to bail. <laughs> I would have liked to see him keep going for it, even though there's well, zero chance. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Yeah, still technically no fly guy. You yeah, that's lie. true. That was fly guyless. And too busy <laughs> typing a <laughs> chat to hit the bird. <laughs> no respect right now, Timmy. Are you just gonna take that? This dude just stood around on the pillar looking for the the star. Uh oh. Let's see, does Timmy go for fly guyless first, or is he gonna go for bomb clip or bomb pillowless? And Timmy taking the death, asking how much Sif won by in get race one. Oh, Tama plus, easy clap. Sif kind of gaming right now. I, yeah, he is absolutely gaming right now. Controller in both hands. No, Timmy. Timmy, why? And then again, two chances left. At least for him not to die. In. Yeah, I hope we don't see a game over on plus. So not, that's not what we're looking for. No, oh, Timmy. No. 
All right, chat, everybody close your eyes. Timmy needs some privacy right now. Please tell me he goes for another star. Okay, good. Oh my god. <laughs> Thought he's going straight down to the quicksand there. Imagine if he just goes for Fly Guideless there and gets it. <laughs> that would have been insane. <sighs> Alright, let's see what he does. Is he gonna skip Pitiless and go for LOL? An extra star now, the elevator star, perhaps? We'll be skipping Pitiless. As Sif? With the interesting death there inside the volcano. It never happened. Hey, he's right back there. Here we go. Oops, going for the little bit quicker. Oh, never mind. He's gone. He went for it. Not too much success, though. Trying to get to the bully there. I mean, a little more luck on the elevator tour than Sif had. Sif deciding to go for the bully the normal way, or the more common way, and gonna be exiting LOL. With a high nine minutes of. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a uh, departure from the last couple races. Probably a little bit less pressure on both players, and of course going for a little bit of shenanigans here or there, but. And Timmy going for. Oh. All the bullies. <laughs> okay, that's the, the star you can get. <laughs> it's definitely a star in Mario 64. Just waiting for a Sif's HMC 100 attempt to really turn this oh, game around. Oh man, let's not go that extreme. I do, I do have other stuff to do tonight. Let's <laughs> reel it in a little bit. <laughs> you will be going for a. Uh... I need to switch a second time at least. I like the route changes. Definitely fun choices of stars. I guess Timmy did need the extra star anyway. I assumed he was gonna go for a uh, lava boost instead, but it make I guess it makes sense going for all the bullies. Swag rotational 2022 primer right here apparently. Toxic Maze coming up for Sif, potentially, question mark. I can see him. Swag Rotational was the uh, the greatest 16 star content ever to be produced on Twitch. That's all I have to say. Oh, Timmy going for Christmas Miracle. The, <laughs> the, the people pleaser, Timmy, just cannot say no. Trying to match it. This is pretty much the exact same thing. Missing the miracle but getting the backup. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think it's definitely worth a swag point. Would have been like five or so, but missing the switch press, unfortunate. A lot of wasted potential there for Timmy.
Oh, Sif getting and going for and getting the punch grab. A lot of these swag strats that he, or like, the, just the better strats he's going for, he's actually hitting, which is nice to see, which, because he was definitely playing it way more consistently. As Timmy's about to go for Toxic Maze BLJ, <laughs> stop mid sentence here just to watch. Yeah, that's an option. Alright, let's hit it. Come on. I have no idea whether to. Like how to even tell if this is gonna be potentially working. This guy's oh, skill is go, I think dude. he just won. I mean, just call the match now. That was no way, dude. So impressive. <laughs> what a god. Uh, Sif tried to go for chip clip, I think. I am not yeah. sure. Oh, we're gonna Trying reline to go for up again? for it? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Timmy moving on to the swag invitational group stage. It'll be interesting to How? see if uh, either of these racers opt to go for uh, TTC 100 here at the end. <laughs> it is also a star. <laughs> and I mean, I'm pretty impressed with Timmy. He's done this all with zero lives. <laughs> Since he's been yeah, that's stuff. actually really impressive now that you mentioned it, yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, like, out of all the strats that I was expecting not to see in the 16 star open, I think Toxic Maze BLJ was probably, like, high on that list. <laughs> it's fun to see. Uh. No, Sif. Sif? Oh, oh, what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he wants to go for pole glitch. He's like, no, nah, this is He wants to prove he can enough. hit ultimate. And Timmy, gonna see the rare 17 star run. <laughs> As he runs away from me after getting the star. No, you just drop MIP, just go for SBLJ, it's faster. <laughs> I, t I timed it once. A valiant attempt from Sif there. Okay, we're gonna go for it again. do not want to let him try again. Oh, okay. Trying to get revenge on Goombas here. You gotta get all the Goombas out of the way. Did you know you can it's actually, actually get, you can, you can get okay. stuck inside of a Goomba? I have never seen that. But Sif proving he knows how to get pole glitch still. How do you get stuck inside a Goomba? I, I'm not really sure. It happened to me one time. I was expecting think, like a whole pen and code. Uh, no, I, I don't actually know. Explanation of how I, you get I, stuck inside a Goomba. I don't think it's that complicated. I think it's literally just like you take damage and you just like get inside one with iframes. I'm not, not really sure. That would make sense. Tiff on solid 18 phase here. Oh, Sif missing the Bowser 2 throw. Honestly, not that far ahead considering the fact that Timmy died like 17 times and went for Toxic <laughs> Maze BLJ in Christmas Miracle. Sif might be a danger of losing this match. As we know, something can possibly happen in BLJs. <laughs> I can see it for sure. To me, a little scary health here. Considering he still has zero lives. I still believe in him. I mean, if you're not a Timmy believer, I'm not sure what you're doing. Probably just get out of the chat, close the window. It's a Timmy supporting stream. Timmy positive zone. I mean... Yeah, all three times you went for this left side, it's always looked a little sketchy. Hate to talk anything bad about Timmy here, I'm sorry. I'll go ahead and leave the commentary booth. Sif gonna lose his hat. Oh wait, we're in TTM. I looked away for like 10 <laughs> seconds and we were in TTM. Was he going for Breezeless? What, what did we just miss? What did no, he, he, he just oh, wanted he just... to lose his hat. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty alpha. <laughs> Apparently a bingo match now. Sif has marked the lose your hat square.
And Timmy? Trying something new too. SPLJ. Oh my god. You heard goodness. you talk about it yeah. earlier. You, you did say it was faster, so I think he wants to make up some time here. <laughs> Wait, did he die in Fire Z? Oh my god. I'm, I'm just like not even paying attention to this one. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of checked out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, he got the key. And then he decided to uh, go for SPLJ. Oh, going for the, the Bernito pinwheel kick setup. I love that. Oh, it's Sif uh, game over. <laughs> wait, I didn't even notice Sif's life count. I was too focused on Timmy's. Luckily, luckily for Sif, he does save and continue uh, after every start. So it looks like Timmy actually in this one might not realize just how in it he is. Needs to get upstairs rapidly. And it's all <laughs> right on the on line. Right on his tail now. No, oh, this is huge, Timmy. Stop standing still. This is the biggest possibility. Dude, he, he's just and trolling me now. If Sip wants to win the bingo match, he has to lose his hat again. Oh yeah, true. He's he doesn't have that square anymore. That's a good point. Alright, Timmy, right behind Sif here. Oh no, Sif, don't go into TTC, dude. You don't have time. Oh you can't no. lose your hat in TTC, Sif. That I don't think he knows. <laughs> this isn't the right speed, it's random, <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm at a loss for runner words. finally into bits. I, I don't know what to say. No, was that, was that the intentional? Game no, Fibby! <laughs> oh no. All right, Timmy can still save this. Um, a rogue, uh, all he needs is a rogue gamma ray. Once the rogue gamma, gamma ray hits the console, he needs to unpause and it'll flip the bit. Oh, dang it. That was, that was in the right moment, Timmy. And just going to be... Oh my God. Race is I, never going to fucking end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, so Sif <laughs> on pace here for a potential sub 22. This could change everything. A beginner runner's dream. Timmy gonna be going for uh, some fancy stuff here. Can we get the BLJ Lactu skip? Oh dang. Could be going for zero key strats with how did how did he drain the moat, dude? That must have been some <laughs> crazy strat. I don't even know. The bit did flip there. Sif can finally close this one out. I would <laughs> I wouldn't speak so soon. He's only got two lives. Um, there's only <laughs> unlimited lives up here near Bowser. Timmy getting Bowser stuck on can the be fence. a bully. Unfortunate. And Sif deciding to go for a field goal. Couldn't really quite end the race for us. Right between the uprights, though. He did middle it, it was very impressive. Oh my god, okay. I don't... I, I can't, I can't like, differentiate what's trolling and what's, like, serious gameplay yeah, at this point. I thought he might have been going for, like, the tail grab shenanigans that you can do. But you, it, it, race might finally end here. I guess we have seen people jump off the edge here before. But I, I believe in Sif. Okay. Insane time. The sub-22. You'd love to see it. And Timmy, maybe forgetting that he already got the star. Well, it's a, new, it's a new file. It's a new day. Okay. What, what if he gets it again? Oh my maybe god. What? <laughs> Dude, what a gamer. What the hell? This <laughs> guy's right. insane. <laughs> Ugh.
if these racers want to come in for air interviews, do remember to support the racers. They're very poggers. They're very champion. Ugh. got Sifo in the booth here with us. Sif, how are you feeling about that race, that series, especially that final race? I think that final race is really what's on everybody's mind. Final race sort of sealed the deal. I mean, Timmy definitely outswagged me, for sure. So he won that one. <laughs> no contest. Yeah, I, I think I think everybody's agreed on that one. I mean, still going for the Toxic Maze BLJ, literally getting it again. I'm not even showing it. Kind of, Kind of cringe on my part, honestly. <laughs> was it the three times in a row? There's that a gap in there. Yeah, I don't know why we're even watching the credits. Just watch Timmy doing <laughs> Toxic Maze BLJ repeatedly. Greetings, Timmy. Uh, so, five time Toxic Maze BLJ Invitational World Record holder. How are you feeling about your performance today? Uh. Oh, just fine. I, uh, like you said, I've been laser focused on 70 up RTA, so this ended up just being more for fun. But obviously, I still really wanted to win. I mean, I always do, but it doesn't always happen. Sif is too much of a god. What can I say? Yeah, Sif, you've been uh, definitely impressing me so far throughout the qualifiers and uh, moving on to the main bracket. Uh, how are you feeling about going up against some of those gamers? Obviously, we don't have the groups settled quite yet, but pretty big names. Does that make you nervous? Are you feeling confident? Oh, I can't wait to get bopped by Kano or someone. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> like, their times are just fucking ridiculous compared to mine. Like, they can get, like, a 15.30 for fun. Like, it's stupid. So, it'd be interesting, but no, I think it'd be a great experience. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's definitely in interesting how it's like kind of an honor to get absolutely smacked down and dominated by uh, one of the greats. So I'm, I'm glad you're looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah Adam, were you saying something? Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, I was saying I, I like the attitude there about, you know, you're ready to get bopped by the top runners. But um, congratulations. It's no small feat just qualifying for the group stage. Uh, that's huge. It was a pleasure to watch both of you run. Uh, game one could have definitely gone either way. Just a little unfortunate for Timmy there. But Sif, you, you did show out when you needed to and you hit the straps you needed to. So congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I've, I don't know. I've been pretty consistent in these races, I feel, which is odd. If you ever see me try and get a PB, it's lobby only but i guess i guess i might have a decent racer mentality i don't know very clutch gene very epic well i look forward to seeing you in your future races timmy i look forward to seeing you in future tournaments and of course on the 70 grind it's good to have you back on the twitch television um we are going to have our well, that was our last match of the day so we are going to go offline shortly after we hear a little bit about Urban Arts, our fantastic sponsor. But do stick around. We're going to be raiding Z the Sunflower, who is hosting her own epic Mario 64 showdown tournament. So don't go anywhere. We will be back after that. Make sure if you don't already, follow the channel. We'll be having many, many more events and tournaments coming up, including this one. So do stick around. Matches continuing all weekend, as well as the uh, SMO semifinals happening on Saturday. So tomorrow will be... SMO all day. I'm sure everyone in here is very, very excited. Urban Arts changed my life. It made me realize that I can love again. Urban Arts did change my life. They are beautiful. But yeah, I will see everybody. Thank you so much for the co-commentary, and I will see everybody tomorrow. Later, gamers.